Hello guys, my name is Sergey. I'm a freediving instructor trainer and today we're going to continue our talk about progression in freediving and more specifically progression in dynamic bifids. On my last video I was talking about uh, how to reach 50 meters dynamic bifids and today we're going to talk about how to progress further, how to progress from 50 to 70 meters. On my first video about progression in freediving, uh, like uh, maybe a few weeks ago, I was I, I, I told you guys that in our school I would love to spend for this progression from 50 to 70 about 2-3 weeks. So this is a like minimum time, okay? Let's say 2 weeks is the absolute minimum which I'm going to spend on this progression, 3 weeks even better and 4 weeks is just amazing. But let's say 3 weeks, so 3 weeks for this progression. Again. It depends on your background, maybe it's going to take you longer or maybe it's going to take you shorter. But don't compromise technique, don't push for the numbers, don't just try to reach the number, try to improve your technique. As I was saying, the freediving training is all about improving your technique, improving yourself as a freediver, not just simply increasing the number. Increasing the number is good, this is uh, what everyone likes to do. But your focus, especially on this part, should be on the technique. So on the last video when we were talking about 50 meters dynamic, uh, I was saying that you need to work on your streamlining. So when you come to this point, when you're swimming already more than 50 meters or 50 meters and you want to increase the number, make sure that your buoyancy and your streamlining is already good. So make sure that you're correctly buoyant that especially quite often people are positive buoyant and they try to compensate it by let's say do a wider kick so you have less weights on your weight belt you start your dive and then if you do a wider kick and maybe when you bring your chin really close to your chest you are still gonna be able to be close to the bottom but you're gonna spend extra energy so again make sure that you are correctly buoyant Make sure that you figure out the streamlining. So make sure that your head position is uh, correct. Make sure your shoulder position is correct. Make sure that uh, like your arms and legs, everything is streamlined. So what I want to concentrate on this part. On this part, I'm gonna really concentrate on improving the kicking. So this part is the main one. So you want to improve your kicking and there are many mistakes which can be with a kicking so for example someone do a too wider kick or sometimes free diver still after 50 meters bending the knee or free diver kicking and let's say the fins is not moving like this they're moving more like this like a skissers so there are many problems which can be uh, still with a kicking technique and on this stage I want to concentrate on that. So how exactly our training session is going to look like? Let's say if you have a three weeks. For the first week I would love to do let's say three session, uh, three days of training, one day off. Three days of training, one day off. On the second week it's maybe going to be two days of training, one day off. And then on the last week it's maybe going to be one day training, one day off one day training, one day off. It is a basic periodization when in the beginning of this small cycle, let's say this is a three week cycle, uh, you're gonna have a lot of volume, so you're gonna have a lot of training sessions and intensity of this training session is gonna be not that high. It's gonna be pretty comfortable uh, sessions. At this point you should understand that you have a maximum distance, let's say 50 is your maximum currently, and then you have a comfort distance. The comfort distance is not like a super easy, not 10 meters, not 5 meters. It's something what challenge you, but not that much. So maybe it is 30 meters, maybe it's 40 meters. Again, we're all different. Try to find the distance which is absolutely comfortable for you. So maybe it's no contractions, or maybe it's a couple of contractions, but still you feel pretty comfortable with this couple of contractions. So quite often for, for someone who just recently reached 50 meters, 
uh, comfort zone is somewhere around 30 and 40 meters. And for the first week, we're going to do many, many repetitions of this distance, focusing on the technique. So I have a specific, like specific exercise for different uh, mistakes in the technique, and we're mainly going to do these exercises. And the distance is going to be short. This is why it's going to be a lot of feedback for this free diver and a lot of a lot of repetitions. So as many repetitions as possible. If let's say we have a one hour session, then maybe like 50 minutes is going to be uh, a lot of like these uh, short repetitions. And then last 10 or 50 meters, it's going to be some swimming exercise. Again, swimming exercise we're going to use to improve the uh, kicking, improve uh, streamlining, etc., etc. So this is going to be our main focus. So the kicking is the main focus. However, there are a couple of more things which you should start putting attention on. So for example, some kind of mental training. Nothing too serious, just like on this step, I want my free divers start to believe a little bit more uh, in themselves, right? So quite often, problem from here to here is this free diver is afraid to do this distance right free diver thinking that he's not ready and my, my goal as an instructor is to help them to start just a little bit more believing in themselves that they're gonna do it right there is a lot of small talks so for example if free diver do a lot of like 40 meters in one session I try to convince my free diver that look you did like big work like you, you, you did a huge work, your technique get uh, much better, so now your body is absolutely ready to do, let's say, 50 meters. Just a little, like a focus on the mental aspect as well. A little CO2 workout. I don't want to do a lot of CO2 training on this stage. I don't think that this is absolutely necessary. However, we're gonna do some of training, like some CO2 training, not that much, and pretty easy. There's going to be no like really hardcore CO2 training. It's going to be maybe a couple of uh, like a hardcore training close to the end of this cycle. But mainly it's going to be just a little more uncomfortable. Just give you one example of dynamic CO2 training. By the way, I done the video about dynamic CO2 training. You can find it in the description. And I'm also going to put the card on top of the screen. So for example, let's say 40 meters is comfortable uh, distance for you. We're gonna do one time 40 meters, and then let's say we're gonna have a rest for two minutes. The next 40 meters, and then the rest is gonna be decreased slightly, let's say one minute 45 seconds. The next one, 130, uh, 115, one minute rest, etc., etc., until the diver feel arch to breathe a little bit stronger, uh, but still the table should not be really, really hardcore. It should be just a little bit more uncomfortable than usual, but still not really, really hard. So this is a, a little CO2 training. So on this stage, I think the free diver should be introduced to CO2 training, introduced to a little higher exposure of the uh, CO2, but not that much. So still main focus on, that, on the technique, uh, a little bit like a mental aspects and a little uh, CO2 training as well. So let's come back to how many times. Let's say if if your comfortable distance at this uh, point uh, 40 meters, then on the first week we're gonna do three training in a row, and we're gonna do a lot of repetitions of 40 meters. So 40 meters rest, 40 meters rest, 40 meters rest, etc., etc. Then one day off, and then three sessions again. Then on the second session, on the second week we might be going to start instead of swimming 40 meters uh, many times in a row we're going to swim 50 meters so rest maybe we're going to increase the rest a little bit more but now it's going to be 50 meters so you're going to swim 50 meters have a rest 50 meters have a rest 50 meters have a rest i think you got my point point. and then on the last week it's going to be less repetitions, so per training is going to be maybe two or three repetition maximum, but we try to do somewhere between 50 and 60. So we're going to do 50 or maybe 60. Keep in mind that our pool is 20 meters, so this is why uh, 60 meters is a three, uh, three times, so 20, 40, 60. 
Ideally, I want my free diver to do like a two or maybe three times 60 meters per session. The rest of the session is going to be a swimming session again, uh, swimming on the back, swimming face down, swimming on the side, etc. etc. And then after three weeks of such training, one day when free diver feel completely fresh and recover, we're going to try to do 70 meters. Again, for 70 meters, we're going to use this trick which I described in my, one of my previous video when uh, it's totally fine to give up, let's say, uh, somewhere after 60 meters where the free diver feel that he can do it. But if free diver feel that he can do 70, we do 70. Okay, guys, one more time. This progression for two, three weeks, it is an average progression. I have free divers who progress much faster even still with a focus on the technique and I have free divers who progress, progress much slower for this uh, distance, right? So we all different, don't worry about that. But again, my main message is don't push the number. Try to be always focused on the technique, especially on this stage. It is a foundation of your future development as a free diver. So don't push too hard, don't be hypoxic don't have too many contractions in one session etc etc start with a high volume low intensity and then close to this three week cycle do a little bit higher intensity let's say 60 meters but low volume maybe only two or three uh, swimming per session okay guys hopefully this session was useful for you hopefully you understand how to progress uh, in this uh, range and if it, this video was useful for you don't forget to click the like button and i will see you next time